It is Monday, August 17th, the day marked on our calendars for our kids to head back to class. But does that mean virtual learning or actually going back into the classroom? Today we saw a lot of both and also a lot of emotion on both sides of this very tough issue. Good evening everyone, I'm Kariba Devine. I'm Mark Curtis, thanks for joining us. Day one is in the books for students in the Queen Creek School District. The district made the controversial decision to reopen even though Maricopa County does not meet the state's COVID benchmarks for full in-person classes. Well tonight we're diving into the class of 2021. That's our ongoing commitment to keeping you informed, prepared and safe as Arizona goes back to school. Tonight we have team coverage for you. Let's get started with Team 12's Nyella Charles. She is live at Queen Creek Junior High. Nyella. Well, the district says there were no no-shows today. All 9,000 students expected in class throughout the district came to school. Only 14% of parents decided to go with the online option instead. In Queen Creek, the first day of school routines are back. First day of school pictures, new backpacks, the fresh first day outfit, and now masks. Dominic is starting kindergarten, and Joey is an eighth grader. Both of them happy to be back in the classroom and not at home online learning. Yeah, I was really relieved about it. I need, you know, to like go to school. The parents say even with COVID-19 still spreading, the classroom is the best environment for kids. I think it's, it's for the betterment of the kids to be in the classroom. I think they'll do so much better in the classroom than they will at home. Maricopa County, where the district is located, hasn't met the state's recommended COVID benchmarks for reopening. And Queen Creek, I feel, is a smaller community. And um, just as a whole, I kind of feel like maybe things are a little different out here. And according to data from the Arizona Department of Health, Queen Creek has some of the highest COVID numbers in the state, with more than 1,200 cases in the zip code. The district says it decided to open up classrooms after a majority of parents surveyed asked them to. If they're going to catch something, it's going to happen. That's any of us. But for some, the decision was made out of financial necessity. I am extremely worried, but I am a working mother. Um, and so, no, I don't have another choice. Masks are mandatory. The district has sanitation and social guidelines in place, but no limit on class sizes. Because of that, several teachers chose to resign, some of them coming from Queen Creek High's science department. We spoke to Queen Creek High School principal Julie Oster exclusively about those concerns. Told our families from the very beginning that socially distancing in the classroom is impossible. We're going to try to limit the um, amount of contact our students are experiencing. At the high school level, passing periods have been cut in half and lunch sizes are limited. Those measures are enough for most parents in the district who are determined to have a taste of normalcy. We're going to make life as um, common and as normal as possible. The district says if anyone tests positive for coronavirus, CDC and state procedures will be followed, meaning anyone that is exposed will be notified and told to quarantine. We're live in Queen Creek, Nyella Charles, 12 News. All right, Nyella, thank you.